Yeah, I came to Australia in 2012 from Iran in my country. I became ATS. I wasn't allowed to stay in my country. It wasn't safe enough for me. So I took a risk and I came by boat to Australia because I didn't have another choice. I didn't have enough time to stay in Iran to go embassy to get visa. So I took the quickest way, which was coming to Australia by boat and I come as an asylum seeker. Because I came by that way, I was in detention center. I had depression for two years. I was taking medication, depression medication. It was difficult for me, you know. It's difficult for anyone who lives somewhere, who grew up, for example, in your country, you grew up in your country, and then something happened. You, you, because you don't have enough freedom, you have to leave your home, your family, your country, go somewhere. You don't know people, you don't know their language. You know, those things make you feeling depression. And yeah, I had that. Many people, I'm sure many people like me who did that, who took that way, they had same feeling first days, you know, it wasn't easy to come here. It's like you're born again as a newborn baby. You have to learn culture, you have to learn language, and all of those is not easy when you don't have anyone here. In my country, I was a busy man. I had lots of friends and connections. But here, when I came, it was really lonely, and that was very difficult for me. It was difficult for me to find a job. I didn't have reference and qualification from Australia, and anywhere I go ask for a job, they ask me for qualification and reference from Australia. That was a very big problem for me, and because of my background is chef, I was cooking in my country, and. I know how to cook Iranian food. I, was, I went to many restaurants in Melbourne, asked for a job as a kitchen hand or something to do in their restaurant, but because I didn't have reference and qualification and many people uh, just refused. So I didn't find a job to get paid, but I found volunteer job. There is in food scale, there is a center called ASRC, Asylum Seeker Resource Center. I went there asking for volunteering job. I started volunteering in their kitchen, and it was my first step that time in 2016, 2015, to get to get to know people and culture, find friends, and show my culture, my country food. So. From my side, I feel I can do small things, but I have to share it with other people, same as me. So I opened the social enterprise catering business. I was alone first days because my business was quiet. Then I get busy. I feel, okay, I can't get help. So I employ people and we're working together. We, yeah, they are, we are from same country and showing Iranian food to people here. And those people now so happy they feel they are part of this project, you know, they feel they are part of this social enterprise and they are with me and we all of us, we have dreams together to make it big and we have dreams, all of us, we have dreams, many Australians try Iranian food at least once in their, their life. <laughs> If you want to show your support for the project, please share this and subscribe to the Being Here YouTube channel. It actually makes a big difference. Thanks.